Welcome again. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you've subscribed, thank you, but please like, thank you all the same. In this task, we are to find out what's keeping Ubuntu Containers Nginx installation. From listening on port 80, requirement is to write a bash script that configures Nginx to be running. And listening on port 80 of all the servers active IPv4 IPs. For some reason, Nginx has stopped listening on port 80 for all IPs and we are to reconfigure it to um. I would say sit back on its rightful throne, port 80. If Nginx is no longer able to listen on port 80, means the configuration has been tampered with or something else is listening on port 82, thereby preventing Nginx from listening on port 80. Best first reconfigure Nginx, just to make sure it is on port 80. First thing is to remove the Nginx configuration, just in case there's an error in the previous configuration. The site's available directory contains the available configuration files while the site's enabled. Directory contains the enabled or active configuration files by creating a symbolic link. Any changes Medetto the default file in the site's available directory will be reflected in the default file in the site's enabled directory. This command restarts the Nginx service. By restarting the service, the changes made to the Nginx configuration will take effect. With this, we've made sure that Nginx is listening to port 80. In summary, this script removes the default Nginx configuration, creates a symbolic link to enable a new configuration file, and then restarts the Nginx service to apply the changes. The purpose of these steps is to configure Nginx to listen on port 80, which is the default port for HTTP. In this task, we are supposed to do the same thing. But to make it short and sweet, the short I understand, but the sweet well. In the requirements are a couple things we can't use. I mean, who needs them? Just kidding. This command is similar to the previous task. The hyphen F option is used to force the creation of the symbolic link, replacing it if it already exists. This step is commonly used to enable a particular Nginx configuration, then restart Nginx. This line is included to ensure that any existing Nginx process is stopped before starting it again. It's a way to gracefully restart the Nginx server.